Should we ask him? Don't be rude. What's rude about asking for help? Big Vir, my love. Focus on your work. You need to weep. Freya, shall we go? <clears throat> I remember where to look for a gateway. Follow me. Well, you two seem to be getting on since completing your mission. Dare I hope this alliance has some staying power after all? It seems to me we share a common enemy. Kratos, you may not accept that Ragnarok is inevitable, but you're smart enough to know Odin is a threat. Whatever comes next, our best chance of surviving it is to work together. Do you agree? I do. Then as to Brock's offer, you can imagine staying under the same roof as a couple former enemies? No further temptations towards terrible vengeance? Not against you. Either of you. You have my word. This lock is different from others you might know. You'll need an enchantment on your chisel to use it. Bruna. Go ahead, carve the letter. Sula. It's an incantation. I'll speak it. Suna. Elves in Freyr's camp mentioned a gate like this in Alfheim. They're talking about some sacred light elf sanctum out past the barrens. A trip to Alfheim? Well, we can decide at the gateway. This boat should get us there if we can clear those vines. Remember what to do? fallen log in the river. It has something on it I don't recognize. So it's true. Tears really alive? Aye. Not exactly ship shape. He sleeps in a broom closet now. But he's adjusting. How did you find him? Largely, that's down to Atreus having figured out how to access the prophecies giants reserved for their own kind. We only learned of it ourselves after Thor and Odin came calling. To your home? Is it still standing? Barely. But all the violence was seemingly just a distraction to let Odin have a private word with Atreus. Odin was alone with your son? Did he tell you what they spoke of? Yes. He said that Odin invited him to Asgard to help him find his answers. The answers he's rushing into fate in search of. That's troubling. Well, 
If you're ready to talk to him, the Mystic Gateway is ahead. If not, I have some unfinished business up this river I could use your help with. Or we can follow up on that elven sanctum out in Alfheim's desert. <sighs> if you want to continue exploring... Good. We can explore the river now. And hopefully right some old wrongs. What is this? I don't know. But giants definitely crafted it. There's two wolves represented here. Perhaps a connection to our friends in the sky. A mystery for another time. Well, brother, before you see the lad again, might we discuss an approach? He will tell me where he has been. That is my approach. Ah, classic Spartan diplomacy. Wait. Did you say Odin invited him to Asgard, and then he disappeared for two days? Aye, but surely the lad's got more sense than to... Don't underestimate Odin's powers of persuasion. He filled my son's head with lies. Why wouldn't he do the same with yours? That sucker, he owes me one. Fight me now and eternally. Well, looky there. Glad you can make the trip, your goddessness. I put your sigil magic on the young turd's bow. But then he and Sindri got into it over something. Mm, I don't rightly know who's yelling at who in there, but I figure they both got it coming. Well, come on then. Hey, Tear! Wake up! You got company. Now, why don't you just make yourself at home in Sindri's so-called study over yonder? You sure he won't mind? Mind? He'll be thrilled. Joint's getting classier by the day. Hey, you see we're waiting for you, right? Sure, I'm open. And Lady Freya? About time I had something to do. Have you better upgrades for us? Not without more materials. Speaking of, you been to the Alpine Desert? Sandstorms whipping up all sorts of shit I can use. And the boy? Perhaps.
Kratos. Aren't you coming? You better screw his head back on, and I mean tightly. So you're back. Are you ready to answer me? About what? Where did you go? Who did you see? Was it Odin? What? Is that what you think? Do you deny it? <laughs> answer me! Did you go to Asgard? No! Of course not! But so what if I did? It's my future, it's my life! You are my son! Then why don't you trust me? If you want me to trust you, then tell me the truth! The truth is you're being a complete asshole! Laddie, you know that's no way to change a man's mind! He doesn't have any faith in me! It's fine if he keeps secrets, it's fine if Mom did! It is not fine! Her secrets are hard to be stuck with this path. Oh, okay. So you don't believe in her anymore either? This is not about your mother! What you have done is lie. Wonder where I learned that. That's quite enough. Since when do you always take his side? Since he became the one making sense. Look, I was only thinking about going to Odin. But I swear it's for a good reason. There is no good reason to go to Odin. He'll only cloud your mind. But I'd be going for us. I, I gotta stop something bad from happening. Something bad did happen. Look at me. At Freya, at Tia, Odin did this to us. What's got everyone caterwauling all of a sudden? Atreus wants to go to Asgard. Asgard? Get kicked in the head or something? Great. I guess everybody's against me now. You must choose who you're going to be. Are you going to continue to lie and keep things from me? Or are you my son? Choose? I never get to choose. Just leave me alone. Listen. Let go of me. Listen. Dad, let go. What the fuck? Atreus. It's Sindri. Just, just try to keep control. Wind it 
think it's so bad out here? Ugh. Gotta find some shelter. Schiaffa! Something out here doesn't want to kill me. I just need someplace warm. Then I can figure out where to go next. Uh, that doesn't look good. What is this thing? Some kind of white? <laughs> 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 Tell me something! First, he thinks I've been to Asgard. Then, blind. Ah! I'm trying to save your life, you big jerk! I get out of the cold.
shelter and then what? Where could I go? If I go to Asgard, following the prophecy where father ends up dead, if I stay locked up at home, there's nothing I can do to stop it. I guess in Asgard, I could at least keep an eye on Odin. Be a spy. Find out his plan. Get control of this. Oh, who am I kidding? I can't go to Asgard. Wait, are those red leaves? Freya's house. Oh, no. Charlie? No. Charlie! Please. Please! Charlie! to let me into that house. Think you can do that? Come on, Charlie. You have to do this. I... I can't help if you don't... Emily! Emily! Buddy, I know. It's cold in here. <sighs> I should close that window before snooping around. Freya hasn't been checking on you? All right. Too busy hunting us down. Come on. Let's get you warmed up. Should be able to make a fire from all this mess. Wow, it's beautiful. Never seen anything like this around here before. From around in Vanahan? She must have really missed it. Valkyrie armor? Does this go with the wings on the wall? From her friend? Wonder what happened to her. Is this Baldur's? Wonder how father was able to earn her forgiveness. I can't believe she never came back to check on her house. To check on you. That's not an excuse. Here for me. I'll 
I'll be okay. I think. Okay. I'm ready. Take me to him. Should have learned to swim before Midgard froze over.
Hello? I'm here. Odin? Bird, is this Asgard? Hey, wait up! The wall! This is Asgard! Hold on! I'm coming! Oh! You don't seem friendly! Get off us! You could have led me around those. Yeah, danger. I know. Got it. I see him. Welcome. say to Odin. Uh, hi. I came to be your apprentice, I guess. But it doesn't mean I, like, serve you now. Not in a sword told by prophets. Get off of Hey, 
from the other side of that wall. Wait, how do I get past the wall? I never came up with a mere story about Hrinthor. The stonemason's son built a flaw into it. He only told Frey about it. I didn't think to ask. Hold on, I was Frey at the house. Did she move in with us? You know what? Focus, Loki. Father would just burn this away with his blades. But what's gonna happen? Ow! Huh. Maybe that sigil magic on my bow can help. What did Brock say? If I could just get that fire to spread to the bramble. <laughs> there we go. Wait, that sounds like people. You need help? You, uh, look a little lost. Oh, uh, I'm just getting my bangs. Well, there's... Nothing to see this way, except the big wall. Is there a gate to go through? <sighs> nope. Not unless you're an Aesir god, but... I guess you'd know that if you were an Aesir god. Me? No. I'm from Midgard. What? No shit! Me too! I'm skilled here. Lucky. Hang on. Are you... all from Midgard? <laughs> yep. The, uh... All Father saved us from the desolation. Gave us a safe place to settle, but we don't go in there. Can't get into the city unless you know magic. You you don't know magic, do you? A little bit, yeah. What? No shit. You, can you walk through walls? Not yet. Huh. Couldn't I just climb over it? <laughs> that? Without any gear? Uh, no. Aren't you afraid of dying? Well, yeah. I mean, look at that. But, Odin awaits. Wait, you know the Allfather? I'm um, sort of his apprentice. No shit! What is he teaching you? I'm not sure. Well, how many other students? I don't know. How long you stay? You don't know. Okay. I'm gonna go climb that wall now. Well, this I gotta see. You need help? I appreciate it, but I gotta go alone. Oh, I wasn't gonna climb with you. I may owe Odin my life, but I don't owe him my death. Not that I think you're gonna fall. Forget I said anything. <laughs> Was that Hugin? Is Hugin your guide? Who? Odin's Raven. You know, from Hugin and Moonin. It's a pretty good guy. Though, not sure he'll know too much about climbing. So, how you gonna do it? One step at a time, I guess. But, with hands. <sighs> well, Loki, you seem like a good guy. I really hope I am not about to watch you die. Thanks. Me too. I, you know not to look down, right? I like looking down. Shows me how much progress I've made. Wow. Yeah, that's great. Can I use that? I mean, a little ironic, his last words, but... What was that? No, no, nothing. Hey, you're doing great.
Thanks, Gilder. Hope you're right. Okay, I can do this. This is fine. Just keep climbing. And now what? Hey, Hoogan. Don't suppose you'd like to pass the time by telling a story, would ya? Yeah, that's what I thought you'd say. Out go! Right, up here? Yeah, I'm coming. Let's get that chain down. I wonder why I can't hear your thoughts. Sure seemed like Odin could. That was you in our cabin, right? You and your brother, I guess? Taking that for a yes. That's the worst of it now. Or not. Uh, wanna just let me pass through? No? Have it your way. Alka! Come <laughs> on. 
I get it. Whoa. Okay. These are connected. Yeah, that makes sense. I think. Gotta do both sides, though. Get to fly. I'm doing what I can. Huh. Don't see any more shortcuts. Just gotta climb a little further. Maybe a lot further. But I've come this far. Hey, Hugin, how about I tell you a story? Once there was a giant named Loki who thought it'd be a good idea to accept Odin's invitation to Asgard. So, Odin tested Loki, expecting him to climb by himself all the way up Reimter's wall. So, what did Loki do? Ah! So what did Loki do? He kept climbing. 
He just kept climbing. His arms hurt. His fingers went numb. It got hard to breathe. Loki kept climbing. One foothold at a time. All the way to the top. Nowhere to go but up. Okay, okay. Keep going. Come on. Can't stop now. Come on! Okay. I can do this. I can do this. Almost there. Hello. Uh, hi. So, what part of the enormous wall made you think, oh, visitors must be welcome? I was sent for, actually, by Odin. The Allfather sent for you. <laughs> Great. And then why are you out there? And not in here? Why don't we ask them together? Hmm. Ah! Oh! Are you finished? Now, what could Odin, all father, King of the Aesir, possibly want with the likes of you. That's between me and Odin. You don't even know, do you? <laughs> think you could pull me up, or... No, I don't think I will. I think maybe I'll drop you. No. No, 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 no. Yes, I'm Stop. going to drop you. Goodbye. Stop. Where are you? Think how mad the Allfather's gonna be when, when he finds out you killed his guest. Loki of the Jotnar? <laughs> the Jotnar. Enemy of my people. I am not your enemy. I will be the judge of that. <laughs> this way, Loki of the Jotnar. Wait, is that Gjallarhorn? Are you Heimdall? Obviously. Now feel free to drink in the splendor of Asgard. This is a rare sight for outsiders. Especially giants. Oh. Done drinking it in already. Cornerstone of civilization in the Nine Realms, not really your cup of tea. I see. Oh, uh, no. It's amazing. <sighs> Just ask your questions already. How do you know I had questions? It is my job. Next question. What is your job? I protect the realm I love from trouble. And you think I'm trouble? You just met me. And I can already see you are eager to prove yourself. Way too eager. Probably due to an overshadowing father figure you can never live up to. Good guess. I would also guess that you are... disrespectful. Entitled and... impulsive. You don't know me at all. I help people. Oh! You are here to help people. Hmm. No. 
No. You are here to help yourself. To manipulate and lie to whoever you have to to get what you want. I know you're young. Your voice probably dropped while you were climbing the wall, but... <laughs> What a twisted little soul you have. <laughs> you are chaos in a spiffy archer suit. I watch your mouth move and I see cities burning. Nothing good is going to come from you being in Asgard. That said, if you are here to aid the Allfather and have no treacherous intent, I guess that makes us allies. Cool topper. Who loves me the most? Who loves me the most? Wow, that's almost as impressive as Balder taming a dragon. Balder had the luxury of not caring how badly he got burnt. I outthink them. Dominate them fair and square. These all Aesir gods? What? You think all Aesir are gods? But Skilder told me that oh, only. Well, if Skilder told you, clearly whoever that is must be the authority on Aesir gods, not the Aesir god you are currently talking to. You literally know nothing of our culture, do you? I know lots of things. I know a giant built that wall. A giant built the wall that keeps out the giants. Primther, son of Thalmor. I know the whole story. Really? I truly cannot wait for you to regale me with the revisionist tales of Asgard's architectural history. Is that Odin's palace? Palace? Do you think the Allfather needs to puff himself up like some mortal chieftain? I guess not. That is the Great Lodge, which the Allfather built with his own hands. I'm sorry if that is a letdown for you. Real power, you see, does not need to flaunt. It emerges when the time is right. Don't you agree? Ha! Hey! Whoa! Hey! Helmets! I brought you a practice job. I thought we were going to own it. You see, the thing is, you do. So I am not letting you anywhere here. Go or Aqua. That's right. Show me all of your stupid little tricks. Oh, very nice. With moves to go back. It is a wonder that the Yogan lost every war they ever fought. Hey! Worry about the one trying to battle for a head Ah! That is what he deserves! <laughs> Come on, Loki. Let's see what you got. Well, that was boring. Guess who's next? You sure you want to keep our father waiting? Funny thing, I am sure about that. Yes, I'm feeling very sure about the fact. You were counting on that to protect you? Guess those arms could not lift a real shield. Ho oh, ho! Nimble move! Glad to see you are awake. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Odin! You'll be seeing it from your grave. Ha! That is your big special move? Hilarious! Down, boy! Whoa! 
Oh, oh, how is he doing that? Is that it? Is this all you have to show me, Jotun? Wow. I do have to say, Loki, I am profoundly unimpressed. You should probably stay down. Great. <laughs> Knock it off. Like it or not, he's all father's guest. But I thought I smelled something. Take one more step, you're not gonna like how this ends. Really? And how do you intend to stop me? Look into my eyes. You tell me. You are a sick man. Loki, you made it. I am so honored. I, I see you've met Heimdall. He reads minds for me. The boy is false, our father. This young man, who is my guest, is covered in mud. Care to explain? He means to betray you. <gasps> is that true, Loki? You a little trickster? Uh... I'm just messing around. Of course he means to betray me, huh? Heimdall, why else would he come? I've given him no reason to trust me. Not yet. But he's got some very big questions. And I have so many answers to give. What are you up to? Dismissed. Go. Gladly. And you, clean yourself up. Oh, no, Father. Oh, my... Java. Heimdall, will you just relax? Were you intending on killing me first thing? See? What, that's not good enough for you? Get out of here. <laughs> He's a lot, I know. Very perceptive, but sometimes he just forgets to think, you know? Hey, I got some places to be. So how'd your father take the news that you decided to accept my invitation? I don't think we should talk about my father. Not well, huh. <laughs> Can't blame him. Between my ex-wife and my disgruntled former employee, he's not exactly getting an unbiased view. But you, you're curious, open-minded. That's important. Greased, meast, carry on, pretend I'm not here. If I'm being honest with you, Loki, you're lucky my offer still stands after you went and sprung tear. But I suppose spending time with him is punishment enough, isn't it? <laughs> At least Mimir never lost his sense of humor. But look, it, that's all behind us now. I like to keep looking forward. Hey, hey, hey! I want them trains, not decapitated. Just keep it below the neck, all right? Is that really what you do when I'm not here? All father. Queen Gana. The Ain Huyar are ready for your blessings. That's why I'm here, isn't it? Hmm. Guess there's a new Valkyrie Queen. Great soldiers, these Ain Huyar. But they tend to come out of Valhalla a little foggy. I do what I can for them, help them remember who they were in life. That's important, don't you think? A sense of identity gives things meaning. Moon Finafen, Grothgar. Moon Thinafen Form Moon Thinafen Yana Okay, next up.
Ah, oh, good. Those are for him. I understand you're an avid reader. These are just a few things from my personal collection. Uh, thanks. Jürgen, those better not be mushrooms, I smell. Listen, I appreciate your offer, but I'm really not sure what you're expecting from me. Right now, you're just visiting, Loki. One step at a time. Study there, Carl. But with all respect, you need to know, I came to study, not to serve. Another servant is the last thing I need. I need someone with drive, with curiosity. Someone will take initiative. That looks good. Is that braised? But why me? Is it because I'm half giant? Big deal. So's Thor. Erlen, try to stay awake for me. OK, but look, don't overthink it. I have a project I think you'll be interested in, a major learning opportunity for fuck of us. Loki, still with me? What about my family, my friends? I need to know nobody's gonna get hurt. Why would I hurt anybody? The truce is all I've been asking for from the start, if you recall. Look, you're here now. Stop worrying. It's all gonna be fine. Almost to your room. My room? Yep, just over here. Feel free to come and go. Take what you need, poke around as you please. You're not my prisoner. And more importantly, I'm not your father. All father, there's a situation that needs your attention. Sif, you missed welcoming our new house guest. Say hello to Loki. This is him? Here, in our home. How nice. My diplomat. Everything all right in New Midgard? The refugees are fine. The situation is with the dwarves. You know who is back. Yeah, it's always something. Put those books down. We got another stop to make. Uh, sure. All right, I'm here. Where is he? He, oh, he, uh, just over there, all oh, father. Sir. <gasps> uh. Chief, it's been too long. What's the issue now? No issue at all if you're trying to build volatile death traps. I approve these designs personally, and not all that recently, I might add. Did you just wake up with the urge to be a pain in my ass? Yeah. Who's the cut? You're draining puck pockets. You know what, Derlin? You reek of cheap mead, and that is by far your most endearing characteristic. Now listen up. It's me, your entire economy, speaking. I want you to know that I have confidence in you. Confidence you can deliver me these machines as promised on time on budget and of course safely The dwarves have never let me down and they're not about to start now, right? Good Okay, so I'm gonna let you catch your breath. When you're ready to get to work and start getting those answers, meet me in my study down the hall. Oh, and help yourself to a change of clothes. Guess I could try this on. Has less mud on it anyway. Huh. Nicely equipped. What needs work?
Whoa! Loki, right? Gotta say, the irony of this isn't lost on me. This was his room, you know? His? My brother's. Your brother? Modi? Ah, oh, your brother. Really? I had no idea. Uh-huh. And now it's yours. Enjoy. Fruit throws, Doctor. Relax. You got some pretty small shoes to fill. We're better off without him, Loki. Trust me. Walk with me. Uh, don't forget your sword. Someone will clean that up. So, uh, what kind of sword is that? It's new. One of a kind. My father gave it to me for Valkyrie training. You're in Valkyrie training? Got time to talk about it? I was just heading to the Great Hall. But if you need to go to work, grandfather's study is just down those stairs. Yes, I, I understand. Yes. Do you see me nodding and saying, yes, I understand? I... I... Uh-huh. Yes. Yes, all right. Mm-hmm. Uh, you see, the, this is you not letting me talk. No, Hugan, I, I don't need my ears clean. I need you to stop croaking and... And, and accept the answer you know I'm about to give. I was just looking at this. That old thing. I've had that since... Huh. Who can remember? <laughs> you, you have a name? Ingrid. Really? Sure, why not? Take it, if you like it that much. For real? Consider it a perk of the job. Thank you. I mean, really. And they say I'm the bad guy. Come on, let's walk. Everyone's got me all wrong. You think war drives me or power, wealth? Nah, never have. You know what drives me? What I really want? I want answers. Same as you. See, mortals have it easy. When they push up against life's big questions, they can look to us to give them meaning, divine comfort. <laughs> we both know that's a sham. But when we have questions, why are we here? To give meaning to mortals while living without it ourselves? No. We're more than that. And I found something that proves it. What is it? It's what drives me. You feel it, don't you? Feels like... knowledge. Truth. All truth. All the answers. We could find out why we're here, learn how to change our fates, stop Ragnarok for good, maybe? Save the people we love. How? I was a young god when I found it. Spent lifetimes studying it, following every clue down every dead end, looking for and finally unearthing this. You see that? It shares the same mystical energy. It opened a crack. 
Can we just look inside? I wouldn't recommend that. What's the broken mask for? You recognize any writing on it? These aren't from the Nine Realms. Smile there. Obsidione Spitha. From Smoldered Earth and Obsidian Spark and a field of battles never fought. Are you certain? Because if that's the clue, I know what it means. And what's that? Keep working with me and find out. You don't have to kill anyone. You don't have to betray your father or yourself. Come on, I know you felt what I felt. The answers are in there. Let's get them. I mean, you translated this language like it was nothing. If I do help you, what's next? Thor, get down here. Oh, father. Don't do that. What's next is chasing this down. Take this and this stealthy side of beef and see where it takes you. I don't promise anything. Nonsense. Happy hunting. And you, go easy on him, you hear me? Muspelheim? The rest of the mask is here? It's where all father dropped us. What do you think? Take that and do your damn job. So, where are we going? How the fuck am I supposed to know? All father thinks that you know what you're doing, so do it. Weird. Well, it seems like we go through this rock. I was gonna get that. <laughs> With those arms. Let's see what love Oh, Ingrid! Nice move! <laughs> Where are we supposed to head now? Checking. Up there. It looks like there might be a ledge we could reach. If we... Too slow. Hey! <laughs> you can't just grab people like that. Oh, uh, what else? Throw you? <laughs> the <day's> young. <laughs> There's things up there hitting us with fire. Use your bow already. Aim for those guys above us. Use your 
You know, I took my blood payment from your father for what happened to my sons. But I haven't taken it from you yet. What do you mean? Later. Don't want to keep the all-father waiting. Speaking of which, mask. Right. If it ain't there, let's keep moving. Come on. We need to head through those rocks. Hey, can you? Yeah, that. Just imagine what it can do to blow. You want to talk about blood payment? What about the giants you killed? They were my family. They were your people too. The giants were blight on the Nine Realms and I reveled in every single one. Let's just change the subject. Y you know, uh, the last time Father and I were here, we beat every one of Surtur's trials. Think you could... Don't play me. Listen, Modi had some problems, but he was my son. And the only reason you aren't mush right now is because of that broken piece of wood. Look, clearly neither of us can do this mission alone. And I want to impress the Allfather just as much as you do. You don't have to like me, but... We're gonna have to trust each other. Just a little bit. Trust. So where's the mask saying? Hey, kid, where's the mask pointing us?
to now. Somehow I don't think the mask can go here. This can't be the way. that mask pulling you. Jump up. That mask got something to say.
Okay, so where's the mask saying to go? Mask got directions for us. The mask is uh pulling this way. We'll have to find some way down. Sure thing. I wasn't playing you, by the way. The trials are fun. Don't you ever have fun? You're so different from your daughter. She seemed... What the? Ah! 
You didn't die over there, did you? No, but I was thinking... Well, that's your problem. The trials are just past that cliff. Might be something you would do for you. First, we deal with them. <laughs> Come on, Thor! Just check him out! That's right. Just try it. You get tired? Not in the slightest. <laughs> An ogre! You worried? Not in the slightest. <laughs> Another ogre? Maybe a little work. Can I get some help here? Since we're short on time, I'll humor. Father's waited hundreds of winters. He can wait a little more. It's fun. Fine. Stay right here. Yes, sir. That should keep him busy for a while. Hopefully. Come on! Give me a challenge! Now to get to that shrine. Okay. That's where the mask wants us to go. But first, let's head to the shrine. We'll find the other piece when Thor gets back. <laughs> Thor's still busy. I should get to that shrine. Hey, Ingrid. Do you trust the ace here? I mean, I know I can't trust them. I just need them to trust me. But that's only gonna happen if they think I trust them. Yeah. My father and I visited this place the last time we were in Muspahan. Feels like forever ago. There's the shrine. Ah! Can't you guys go fight Thor or something? Jump up! Where 
where are these things coming from? Boda? <laughs> you know, for someone who was trained as a warrior, you are tragically easy to startle. I... I, I didn't. What are you doing here? A girl can't visit a shrine of her own volition? You're here for Sorter's marble. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> You're out looking for more giant marbles? You know what this looks like, right? Like the life story of one of our people? And also maybe a storage closet. No. This looks an awful lot like Defying Destiny. The question is, what are you doing here? Rewriting my story. Odin gave that to you? It's not. Well, he did, but it's not. I'm not working with him. I would never tell him anything about Ironwood if that's what you're worried about. And I'm definitely not serving him. It's prophecy's words, not mine. I've got a marble to find. You're welcome to help if you want. Fun. Are you sure you're up for breaking the rules like this? There aren't any prophecies of you collecting any marbles. Our endings haven't been written, right? Come on. Shame. <laughs> Hello there. A sentient sword. Huh. Another marble. Surters. No soul in it, though. So he's still out there somewhere. A while back, you talked about how the giants left. You ever think about them? All the time. They're far from here. Far from Odin and Thor. But I wonder what lands they've gone to. What seas they've crossed. Why? I want to find them. I'm going to save my father, and then I'll find them. It's starting. Who is that? Not Surtur, that's for sure. Look at all that frost. Sinmara. Hmm. Don't think I've heard of her before. And here comes Surtur. Wow. This must have been some fight. Yeah, until it... wasn't? It just stopped? Oh, no, 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 look. It's because they fought together. Looks like they even became friends. Ah, uh, good friends. Are they? Yeah, I think they are. Oh, well that's... good for them. But it looks like their... um... love caused them to combine into some kind of huge creature. Ragnarok. And then... Ragnarok destroys Asgard. Right. I saw that in Groa's Shrine. Well, that was... something. Oh, hey, remember the snake we put that soul in? Can't really forget that. I saw it. It's getting... bigger. Like, faster than normal bigger. Yeah, I had a feeling that would happen. 
Huh. I'm gonna hang back here. Don't want your, uh, friend to see a giant he missed. Of course. Just be careful. Please. You too, Loki. Hey, Ingrid. Think Thor died from... You thought you could defeat the god of thunder? Oh. That was fun. There were mountains of corpses by the time I finished. Cut down life. The lava ran red. Through. Hey, what's taking so long? Things I just killed, it was glorious. I think you're right. Throod wouldn't look. She'd be faring better than you, at least. that at any time you seem to be handling yourself well enough i was trusting you so where to looks like we need to head through that gate oh yeah i had to do something while you were off fighting well check again anyways on through the gate like i said thor make that impressive real god you are a god. You're damn right. And so am I. It's here. This is the spot. Well, where is it? In the lava? I don't know. No! No! Ah! Damn it! Some advice. Sticking your hand in lava is never gonna feel good. I wasn't thinking. Good. It's better that way. All right, let's get out of here. Oh. Look, don't try to play me again. You're an okay kid. But you're still a giant, and I'll revel in killing you, too. What did you do? Loki. 
The rift got brighter. Look, you did it. Look, one of these phrases is complete now. We can read it all. But you can't translate it. Not yet. See, I got a little theory. I think if we can find the rest of this, we can use it to look into that without, you know, losing an eye or worse. Look at this. We make a good team. Don't we? Don't we? Make a good damn team? Just like you and Balder. You both behave out there? Thor was really great. I learned a lot from him. You learned something from him? Really, now? <laughs> okay. What did you teach the kid? <laughs> Nothing. What could I possibly teach him? Exactly. Ah, I was wondering where that went. Actually, I had a pretty good idea. Change of heart. I'm not really sure why I came to Asgard. But I realize now it wasn't to be a spy. I need you to know you can trust me. And if I'm gonna help you take this to the end, I need to be able to trust you. And trust is earned. I get it. Take this, figure out the rest of it. If you're staying, that is. You're gonna tell me what you're really looking for in there. Translate that, and I'll tell you everything. And on that, young man, you can trust me. You always this hard on Thor? Seems like you're mad at him or something. Ooh, getting nosy. Getting personal. No, I get it. But it's nothing like that. It's... Well, to be honest, it's the only language he understands. I'm serious. Go ahead and try being nice to him. See where that gets you. been a weird day. Exactly. Hmm. Huh. Nicely equipped. That needs work. Nice. Whoa, I can use this. Hmm, huh. nicely equipped. What needs work?
Good morning, brother. No news, I'm afraid. I have a plan. Do you now? Renards. You found them once. Could you do so again? I could try, but I don't see how that they would help. They are the fates of these lands, are they not? I would know what they know. You may not find them cooperative. As long as I find them, where do we search? Midgard. But if Atreus is in Asgard, there's no getting him back without an army. We should be raising one. Yes, nothing like a catastrophic war to improve the situation. The boy seems quite capable, perhaps if you simply give him some time. You are not free of blame here. You encourage his foolishness, his confusion. I do not seek war. But if Odin has stolen my son, do not doubt the lengths I will go to. Your nature has always been clear, Kratos. But you, Freya. War is a first resort. That's not the Freya I knew. I hope the Norns can give you the counsel you need. Perhaps mine is no longer of use here. Oh. Tear, stop. This is no time to divide ourselves further. Come, sit, please. You have been quiet. Frankly, I'm surprised you of all people would seek out fate. But your instincts haven't let us down so far. Let's find the norms. Who am I to offer him counsel? I only hoped to help the boy find his answers. And I failed. What's my role in all this now? Tyr, you're at the center of this. You always have been. That's why Odin imprisoned you in the first place. He's terrified of you. I doubt that very much. It's the truth. <laughs> no one has ever been. Hang on! I got something for you. Sindri! Coming! Before you go traipsing off into the dawn, I thought you'd like to have this back. Hmm. Well, don't go getting too cheery about it. But you're welcome. I've collected what we need to find the Norns. Shall we go? Neithog? I suspect we may have consequences to look forward to.
are certain the trace could not still be in Midgard. I was just there and found no trace. If Odin invited him, he must have provided a way. No. That is not the only explanation. Tell me where we find these Norns. I discovered some of their threads near the frozen lake. I stashed one for spellcrafting, but we may also use it to find them. Just remember, they really don't want to be found. Well, at least things will be difficult for a change. We should take your sled and head to the lake. Midgard. How I've missed the freezing gusts and constant radar attacks. Well, that's because they believe Kratos is responsible for Fimble Winter, and that killing him will end it. Where would they get an idea like oh. that? Oh. From me, of course. Of course. Quiet. She is a friend. No. Better they get this from you. Once the wolves have the scent of the Norns, we'll just need to follow their lead. Hmm. I will open the gate. <laughs> Stop whining. Their fur is matted. When did you last brush them? They are wolves. And matted fur leads to disease. Take care of them and they'll take care of you. Brother, what exactly do you intend to ask the Norns? How I may find my son. Nothing more. You don't imagine it's a chance to clear up all this mess about prophecy? Perhaps get a second opinion on your alleged demise. You didn't tell me you had a death prophecy? When Atreus and I reached Jotunheim, we found a hidden mural. The giants. They herself. Had foreseen our entire journey long ago. Who we would meet. Who we would fight. All of it. As it happened. But you aren't dead. That image was from a time yet to come. I see. You've never struck me as someone who fears death. That's not the problem, is it? No. Death can have me when it earns me. Then maybe it's not the future that bothers you. Faye sent you on your journey, and she made sure you'd see that image at the end of it. And you're still not sure why. I wish to speak of this no further. Now that we are on the lake, how will we find the Norns? Watch the wolves closely. See how their heads point the way? Well, the Lake of Nine has certainly seen better days. Raiders have made themselves quite at home. Not sure I've been back to these parts since our great battle was secret. She speaks highly of that fight as well. You know of that. She told me all about it when she found me. She believed you could be an ally. Long before I believed it. The Valkyrie Queen. An ally. I'm the Valkyrie Queen. As Sigrun was stubbornly determined to remind me. I should have guessed it was Sigrun helping you recover yourself. He's so loyal. Why? Ever. Oh. Mm-hmm. It doesn't take a love goddess to see where you're coming from. This thread of fate we are tracing. It's not somebody's life, if that's what you mean. The Norns use it to mark their way when they're outside of the well. The Norns live in a well. No. The well of Earth, their home, is hard to explain. It's in no fixed place. Entrances come and go. A place wholly under their influence, where the intangible becomes tangible. Like being inside your own mind. But if we go in together, are we in each other's minds? Not so sure I like the sound of that. Mimir, 
Have you encountered these norms? Not personally. Faye is right. They have ways of discouraging visitation. Odin made his share of efforts. Wouldn't talk about what he found. Either he gave up, or he wanted to forget what he saw. There. You mind telling us what you experienced when you sought the Norns last time? To be honest, the details are hazy. Like waking up from a dream. Mainly, I remember that nothing could be done to change my son's fate. Which only made me more determined to try. Brother, what of your story? You faced the fates of your homeland, yeah? Hold! What is that? The Oarsmen. Ugh. A monument to conquerors. Made for lovely warships, though. Now, brother, what about when you faced the fates of Greece? The legends I heard about the ghost of Sparta were surely exaggerated. Exaggerated? Oh, not in the brazen bloodshed Righteous Fury part. The part where it said you traveled back in time itself to win a battle once lost. It strains credulity, obviously. I mean, a rumor about Thor knocking the World Serpent back in history from Ragnarok is one thing. It is the truth. The threats of fate span all life and time. Brother, what is it? The wolves are distracted. These were coal raiders. Infamous. Eaten wolves. Atreus and I rescued ours from such an encampment. That was... I... The coal raiders have been a blight on this land. The way they've abused it. Creatures. Perhaps we should do something about them. Perhaps. Up to you, brother. If the Norns know the future, no doubt they'll expect us to show up a bit later. Sisters of fate abused their power. When I challenged them, they threatened to undo my existence. So I killed them and turned their power on Zeus. That's the most dangerous and irresponsible thing I've ever heard. These Norns have no such magic, nor does anyone in these realms that I've ever seen. Ah, can you imagine? If it existed, Odin would have it. And if Odin had it, we'd be five shades more fucked than we are already. I would not ask them to change the past, even if they could. I only want information. And that's quite dangerous enough, in my experience. Freya, there's something I've always wanted to ask. What was it Greenthor whispered to you? Who? Greenthor, the son of Thormur, the stonemason, who disguised himself and built Asgard's wall. Wait, that <laughs> building. How strange. 
I've never seen that building before. Aye, very strange indeed. Let's take a closer look.
The shield that's blocking the entrance. It looks exactly like the one from Tyr's statue. Brother, your fight with Thor must have scattered pieces of Tyr's statue all over the lake. Looks like the shield ended up lodged here. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. Doesn't look like you can brute force it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Could be useful.
Now we just need to open the gate. Well done. Looks like you'll have to get through the gate faster. <clears throat> You won't believe it, Mimi. This crest belongs to Fjotrun. Fjotrun, you see? Now that's where Seekrim is from. All the time. You should find the keys. That's the spirit, brother. I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? <laughs> Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos <laughs> swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Things. They can smell more danger. Uh, the wolves fear that which can no longer hurt them. The horrors of our past can be inextricable from the present. You have to understand that. Oh! <laughs> 
will cease their whining. I grow tired of your lack of empathy for your own wolves. It's Demos, isn't it, brother? I should not have told you, Demos. You see yourself in these wolves, in their fear. Let us keep moving. You remember anything about what came through the stonemason's son said to you after building Asgard's wall? Oh, yes. One of the many occasions Odin saw fit to involve me in a wager without my consent. I wish I could say that was the worst of his husband. Oh, that thought. I think it's about to get vile. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
of a cruel empress, one too angry to die. We will see. You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier, if Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. <laughs> Kratos, a raider encampment. Shall we take care of them, brother? Chieftain! 
the one who captured the wolves before you freed them? I do not know. Hmm. The
Heaven.
They're still steer. Not of the Raiders. Do not... Do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. Yes. Good girls. Is that a frozen lightning bolt? My fight with Thor ended there. That's where you landed. No wonder there's bits of tear statue all over the lake.
Do you regret it, Namir? Most likely. Uh, what are we talking about in particular? Giving up your body? I regret exchanging my life for my freedom. That's a question I ask myself every day, my lady. What about today? Today? Glad to be out in the world. How else could I spend such quality time with you? <laughs> okay, okay. This is the right area, but we can't go further on the sled. I just hope the norms are somewhere indoors and warm. Safe to say, no, I have not missed Midgard in Fimblewinter. Thank you. <laughs> we will see soon enough. Yeah! <laughs> Something in here is giving it power. Might I suggest the ominous broken gravestone? The hilt of a sword. Brother. I know that sword hilt. Tread carefully. You of all people know how weapons can carry ghosts. If it does not help us find the Norns, it can wait. I feel a trace of their illusions here. I can try to dispel it. So, we'll have to see what else the wolves can find. Typical Nornish mischief. They know we're searching. I warned you they wouldn't make it easy. And what's the hilt of a cursed king have to do with any of it? Distraction? Coincidence? Who knows? I suppose they'd say we were fated to find it. Mm.
Kratos. Tell me more of your homeland. It was violent and cruel. Sounds no different from these lands. It was warmer. Tyr used to talk about how heavy the cost of war was compared to its bounties. He felt like it was his responsibility to avoid it. Kind of still does, in fact.
lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Mamir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Well, you can say that again. Now, if we could get back to the story of Finthur, the stonemason's son. I was hoping to get Freya's version of what happened. There isn't that much to tell. I knew nothing of it at first, surely because Odin didn't expect to lose the bet. Enough. We will continue later. <laughs> Let's see. I feel something. In this direction. Feel what, exactly? Another illusion. It's coming from this wall. The Norns are hiding something. Kratos, I feel the Norns over here. Are you ready? Oh, no. <laughs> Nothing. Another dead end. A trap. You know, this search will only get more dangerous. Then we keep looking. Back to the wolves, then. Brother, I had a thought. What if we took a stealthy approach to our next battle? No. The wolves have picked up another trail. Keep following their heads. Freya, you were just beginning to tell us the story of Fremsur, the stonemason's son, and the wager of Odin and Baldian. Yes. All right. A mysterious mason had to build the entire wall in three turns of the season. Two! It was two! And if he was late, he'd be owed nothing. But if he succeeded, he was promised an audience with the queen. Old. We will finish later. Another gravestone. But this one's intact. Aye, and with a keyhole tailor made for the help ah! sound. I was afraid of that. This is the place. We need to work our way up. This way. There. Can 
Can you cut a way through the ice? Oh, are the Norns making magical ice walls now? No. I think the water just froze. More of your friends. I didn't tell them to be here. Incoming fire! I don't know what the Norns did to trick all these raiders into guarding them. Not that they have any idea that's what they're doing. Freya, thank you for your help. I know this was not your focus. The sooner we find your son, the sooner you'll be able to focus. I just hope it works. Just the same. Thank you. A fine sentiment, but write on a bloody note when we're out of the cold, brother. Always the third place you look. Is everyone hearing that creepy whisper? It is like an itch in the mind. It means we've stepped into their domain. Be ready for anything. Illusions. Projections, possibly. But assume nothing. There's no telling what manner of creature they've made unwitting guards. Delightful. Ghost of Sparta, Bane of Olympus, Destroyer of Fate, Cruel Strata, Bringer of War, Weapon of the Gods turned against his creators. He chases a redemption he knows he can never deserve. He cannot change. minds yet. He certainly seemed real enough. I hate to tell you, but the parts in your mind will be real too. Seems 
he was guarding that way outside. looks familiar, but different, like a confused memory. A rather hostile memory at that. These fates should know I will not be deterred. know it all and I cannot change. See? You forgot the smartest man alive. there's one small consolation to this ordeal. At least we won't have to introduce ourselves. Don't credit your reputation, Mamir. <laughs> they see the whole lives of any who approach them. What is that? 
that! A phantom! Prove magic! Aim for the runic core! Bloody hell! Look at that thing! Yelpa! Close in! Attack! Another gift of Fimble Winter, I suppose. The magic draining out of all of us has to end up somewhere. This way. The Norns are somewhere in that cave just ahead. There's that itchy sound again. Normally, I don't mind ladies whispering in my ear, but this is positively awesome. Anyone ever tell you that you babble when you're terrified? Terrified? I'll have you know I'm at the very most deeply apprehensive. And breaking tension with humor is the sacred duty of a traveling companion. How very dare you! Babbling! A door. Oh, that's official. Listen to me, please. Stop! Why did you bring him here? You are not welcome here! Wait! Baldur, come back! Talk to me! Oh, 
Good. the test didn't feel much like succeeding i see the door has disappeared or it was never there they toy with us still what is that a kelpie don't see many of those in these parts she must be theirs will she take us to them i'll ask her nicely easy girl easy that's right good Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. 
Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Hmm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a titan. <laughs> that might not be her favorite subject. <laughs> Hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns. Tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see what all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. No, oh. oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts, as if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you called, called him the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable. Merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! up. <laughs> Your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did, it was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard, and you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act, to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving. He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that was... educational. <laughs> Let us leave this place. Happily. Better. I 
can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Mimir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I see something. Up there. That's the wrong way up if you want to get out of here. I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? <clears throat> Apparently my tendency is to kill. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe- The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. Prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur. And so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. And we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norman. Let 
Let us find a gateway. Return home. Consider our plans. Listen, brother. Before you make any hasty decisions, why don't you blow off a little steam? I'm sure there was some loose end we meant to circle back to. Give your mind a little time to process everything. I suspect there's unfinished business here at the lake, though... I'm certainly happy to spend time somewhere other than Midgard. It's your choice, brother. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah, the inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What have we done? You're back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. <laughs> this will be of use. I have news. Oh. Did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will it help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you'd need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Oh, 
son. We Enough! Need... Heimdall's a threat, not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horde that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, that's a relief. <laughs> huh? Ow. Kratos? Whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. I wish you'd come with us, dear. I know you mean well with us. But, to be honest, I don't like who I became on our own. See you out there. Come hither. We must speak. They're all going to blame Master us. Master Kratos, I have a matter of some urgency. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. You heard him. Quit your friend. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you pimp shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? Well, think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sindri trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in neither of Valir been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursion and you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for. On account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully.
We may need to work together on this one. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. A little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic. Oh. All right. Down that one. I die in well, I can see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Unusual surface here. Elvish, I think. Careful, brother. That looks flammable. Another oil spill. <laughs> ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear.
It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again. You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. Heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. Ah, we've seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? we can redirect the water to get that wheel turning. That worked, shall we? This opinion of yours, was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't, or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. 
Sigil arrows won't work on this. They got the third one hidden away.
She was one of the Yugnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping me once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all.
Well, who's ready for some fresh air after that? Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that. When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon, and to use it. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the floor. Fuck you! So much for following me. Fine. Let's see what you find. Hey, try sticking your hand in there. Matter me. Oh, it ain't just from Sharper. <laughs>
You pledger this up too? I'll have you know that was pledgered when we found it. Sure it was. You got something to say? Say it already! Better take out that net or it'll be eyeball city out here! These mutts? No wonder they shut the Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, quit your nattering, you snake sucking mommy milk sops with your protective gear. Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? Well, that ain't no good. You see what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Like that wheel up there over the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Mm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift? of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you. They did seem surprised. All right. <laughs> now I can turn this plane to tap that geyser. You just give me the signal when you're ready. We need a new vantage point, brother. Hmm. 
I think they've seen us. Look out! Up above you! can move. That's why we're up here, remember? Waiting on you, flatter fart. Whenever you want to die, I'm right here. Finally. Now we can ride on up to the fort. Come on. The lady's waiting. Hey, got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> oh, isn't that clip? Ooh, that's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hmm. Hang on. I smell trouble. Surprise! <laughs> So this 
lady, then. The lady of the forge. Ain't no more magical creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never have it. Said I was too uncouth. But today's finally the day. Whoa, I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> Why, bro, I've never seen you so reverent. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, fuck you. Go on, pasty. Turn the crank. Let's do this. It does not work. Huh? What is it this time? Out of the way. Let me look. everything in this dang city my own self. I'm gonna need a couple of things. Follow me. Yeesh, this place ain't in some disrepair. It's disrespectful, I tell you. I need that axe of ours to go kiss that material out yonder. The spiky silvery stuff. You'll figure it out. This lady, what does she do? Well, we'll both see soon enough, won't we? I know this, though. If we're real lucky, she'll give us her blessing. Doesn't give them to everyone. The once she does, there's something to behold. The axe? Well, that particular process was a whole nother cluster. Maybe sometime I'll spin you that tail. Faye's the only one who ever got my highbrow sense of humor. Damn fine woman she was. Apart from her taste in men, of course. Now I need a chunk of that bronze material over by all that busted up wood. Back in those days, I'd get so caught up in trying to be the best that I'd work till I boom drop. Fine, there's less to prove. You learn to keep your own pace. Save your extra effort when it's personal. Like for when you finally get to show the lady who you are. Wow, Goaty, you sure did give up on that riddle in a hurry. I give up nothing. It gets bigger the more you take away, is it? That's right. Hmm, sorted. It's desire. Nope. What do you mean, no? Desire only grows when you take away the thing you desire. All right, it's not perfect, but let's hear your answer. Oh, you won't get it out of me that easy. <laughs> All right, let's get back to business. One more crank to turn and it's onto the forge. I see no forge. You don't see the form of a forge, but we're going to the nature of I was almost following him for a moment there. We're good! Crank it!
She needs the final ingredient. The blood of a god. Give her your hand. Alfie Vector almost forgot. Ma'am, it would be an honor if you might bless it for us. Are you, uh... Hello? Hello? What the fuck was that? She acts like I weren't even here. Mermaids don't speak to our corporeal bodies. They speak to a part of our soul. A part specifically you might be missing. Fuck. Fuck! Damn it, Sindri, you lion cat scrubber! I knew it. I died. I fucking died! <laughs> the fuck you want? It needs a blessing. Yeah, well, the one to give us the blessing just fucked off into the tomb. It needs the blessing of a great blacksmith. What? No, no. I can't bless shit. I don't have all my soul bits. It, the blessing wouldn't mean squat. It is the nature of a thing that matters. Not its form. All right. May this weapon strike true. May it be wielded with wisdom. May it be put down when its job is done. First weapon a spot to learn. What well, hell? Ain't this just like old times? To put it more forebodingly myself. <laughs> It 
Impossible, sir! <laughs> Get out of here, too. Up there, see that weak spot? Jam one in right there. Look. Now do the thing! There you go. Yep. Guess we're doing this one boy style. Uh, listen, uh, I appreciate what you said back there. It's good to have friends when you find out your brother's a rack scabbing liar. No doubt he only wished to protect you. Weren't his call to make. The guy dies, he's got the right to know about it. Take heart, Brock. We all die sometime. Many of us more than once. No, never mind all that. We gotta finish putting the spirit through our paces. Come on! Might have to get creative up ahead. Nightmare! Flash lights! Lick my face! As I roll this all over, get your ruin on me! Above you! Watch out! Good there! Get the dang down! Find you! Incoming! <laughs> Better take out that net, or it'll be Eyeball City out here! Stop hovering around and smash that thing before more things come out! bigger the more you take away. Ah, is it time? Because the more removed from events you become, the larger their scope in your memory. No, as bollocks now that I say it. Never mind. Days are. Them eyeballs are taking over them ground. We better beat them out. Children. Like you don't have the equipment to the screen, the little bugger. Oh. Be a waste to capture it. 
I wonder if that squirrel outside Sindri's house has any ideas. <laughs> You're too far to the side. Whoa, you sure you ain't done this before? See? Dirty enough to climb on. That was one of Mito's children. Looks like we don't yet have the equipment to restrain the little bugger. There must be a way to capture it. I wonder if that squirrel outside Sindri's house has any ideas. Not seeing no weak spots down here, but you keep looking. with the lady that's my story to tell all right agreed well for a period of time perhaps Mamiya. oh very well these are great birds maybe those drill will take it Oh! <laughs> 
up the loot. I'll set up shop over yonder. Thank you, Brock. It is a good spear. Damn straight. Can I see? how you'll be getting down from up here. Best I find my own way back. Been too auspicious a day to end it working and working. Oh, is that the way down? And I'll get those gates working. I only hope Sindri's in one piece by the time Brock's done with him. The ice beneath those two is thin enough under the best of circumstances. Where is everyone? Now a good time. I just want to talk. Dad to dad. Speaking of which, imagine my surprise when Atreus came knocking at my door. He's doing well, by the way, and will continue to do so just as long as I return to Asgard sometime soon. Besides, our friend here has a has a whole lot to live for. Arguable. Run along now, but behave yourself. <sighs> New spear. Never much cared for Brock. But can't deny the dwarf's talent. You came to speak. Speak. 
You don't really want war. Do you, Kratos? All that blood on your hands, on your son's hands. I want peace as much as you do. Perhaps we can find it together. He's lying. I know. That boy of ours. He's everything I expected. So clever, kind. Be sure he's yours. A kid, you really ought to be very proud. He is the key to peace in our age, to break free from all this fate and prophecy. My son is not your key. Oh, God, do they not have metaphor in your homeland? Or rather, did they? I'm sorry, that's not fair. I know you're not the god you once were. And now is your chance to prove it. Return my son, or you may meet the god I once was. And what kind of god is that, Kratos? What do you even know of godhood? In your lifetimes, has anyone ever worshipped you? Ever prayed to you? Can you even imagine that kind of love? No! You don't care about mortals. You don't care about anything beyond yourself. Beyond the monster who kills without cause. You fear what you can never even hope to understand. Is it any wonder that your boy is in no rush to come back to you? Don't listen to him, brother. He's just trying to get in your head. Superior bastard. The nerve of him showing up here. At least you rattled him as much as he rattled you. Good timing. Oh, Let's see what Brock oh, made you. with the powers of Dropnia. Interesting. Well, come on. We can discuss it on the train. I do worry, though, if I'm being frank. We crafted a weapon to kill a god. One could say you're on the verge of returning to form. Does it scare you, aiding another violent god? I'm scared for you, brother. That spear could start a war, THE war. If that no longer concerns you, then maybe Freya's right. Maybe the Giants had you in mind all along.
Hmm. So this drop near Spear, you're prepared to use it? To protect Atreus. I am no one's champion but his, nor no one's god. That may be my form. It is not my nature. Do you understand? I guess a difference of opinion is hardly the most I'm setting aside for this alliance. As long as the plan is to kill Heimdall, the rest matters little. There's also the bit of news that Odin has some inkling of what we're up to. I thought I heard ravens. Damn it. What did he say? Lies, threats, and more lies. What did you expect? You think he lies that Atreus is in Asgard? No. On that, I'm afraid I believe him. Then the rest matters little. I saw a gateway near here, overlooking the bay. We can get to it with your spear, I think. This way. That gravestone. There's a keyhole that looks to fit the hilt you found. And if I'm right, you best prepare for a fight. you to get something for me. A hammer. A weapon? No. A forge hammer. Little thing. Symbol of the... Hood. Mud. You're not... The Ulf... I'm not... You'll certainly be able to reach new areas in the bay with that spear. Aye. Might be worth looking for Darlin's hammer while we're at it. Your choice, of course. Now that you have a weapon to deal with Heimdall, we just need to find a way to get to him. Aye, if that's still the plan. It is. I will protect my son. So, then it seems the original plan to avoid Ragnarok has fallen a bit by the wayside. That is up to Odin. Yes, that's rather what concerns me. Listen, brother. Those things he said to you... His words are nothing. True. Though I expect retaliation is no empty threat. We need to think through the ins and outs of it. You're getting ahead of yourself. Let's see if Sindri has had any luck. She's special, that one. Ain't gotta tell me. Have you found a way to reach Asgard? Um, not as such. Had a few ideas, but they didn't so much... work. <sighs> Brother, without a way to Asgard, what are we doing? I do not know. We need to think. Nothing unusual happened with the lady? Nothing at all? Nothing whatever. Shit, like I said. Why? There's some reason you expected it to flip sideways? What? No, no, of course not. I'm delighted to hear it. Well, they did. And it was a proper adventure to boot. I taught them all about the nature of the thing and the form of the thing. 
become a whole motif. You're making up words again. I said it was a motif, and it was beautiful. You are impossible. <laughs> I'm the most possible one around here. Where are you going, brother? Sleep. So, we're just keeping blindly on then. Hoping we don't walk headlong into Ragnarok. Is that your plan?
Well, your father seems very ready to go. Shall we then? Enjoy the gentle waves, little one. Your father and I traverse this river often. One day, you will learn to navigate its waters. We live deep in the wild. The most beautiful forest in all of Midgard. And it is safe serene here. The game is plentiful, and you will want for nothing. We're not far from the place your father and I first met. We nearly took each other's heads off. But he's softened since then. Someone. Unfortunately for you, he remains dreadfully stoic. I suppose it will fall to me to teach you language. Your father can teach you to hunt. Or perhaps that will fall to me as well, since all he seems to be good for is grunting. Have you nothing to say to your son? Say, Faye. Anything. Let him learn your voice. Let him know you. He is far better off knowing as little as possible. Knowledge is not always a burden. <laughs> Think. The mighty god of war. Frightened of his own child. I do not fear our child, Faye. I fear for him. He is innocent. We are not our failures. We are not who we were. We must be better. Atreus is our future. Keep him safe, Kratos. Protect our son.
What did that wall ever do to you? Um, building focus. Something my father taught me. <laughs> it work? 